happy June 24th. You don't know what June 24th is? No. <laughs> today? It's today. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a beautiful day. That wasn't rehearsed, but it was fun. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. Good morning to some of you. Good afternoon to some of you East Coasters. Or maybe our peeps in Spain, you guys are like, the day's almost over. Like in Spain, 6 p.m. I would say dinner, but I know better than that. Dinner's not at 6 p.m. in Spain. No, it's at bedtime. <laughs> That's tapas, tapas time. What's up, Taylor Worry? Uh, Mandy, hello, hello, hello. Yes, we would love to have you guys out on the boat. Kathy, hello, what's going on with you? Hi, Lynette. Lynette. Um, That's so confusing. I know. I don't hear that name very often, so when I hear it, it's really unusual. And I have a Lynette Cunningham that's a friend of mine. That's even more weird. Which is, it, like, I've almost communicated some things to that Lynette Cunningham that would have been very shocking <laughs> to her. <laughs> so, what's up, Sharon? How are you? That girl loved Florida. Um, so Lynette, yes, the big fish stayed in the water. They're protected, but they're eating everything. I wish they would unprotect that big fish because... <laughs> so we could eat it. <laughs> well, it eats everything. Like the lobsters, you can't hardly get lobsters anymore because of that big fish. Mm, um, so fish. yeah, that's a bad fish, but we did let him go. What's up, Andy? How are you? Nice to have you guys on. What's up, Gary Stern? You guys, if you haven't seen Gary Stern's post... I don't ever say things like this about a specific post with a specific person, but you got to go check out the turtle post because he's got 145 shares, which I'm just telling you guys, that is social media gold. <laughs> that is gold. Like people like they want their likes and they're wanting their comments and that's all good. There's ways to turn likes and comments into money, but when people are sharing your stuff, like, you know, you can have 5,000 Facebook friends and not everybody has 5,000. Just do the math. Do the math on 5,000 Facebook friends times 145 shares. And I'm just going to go ahead and call it right now. Gary is going to get new distributors and new customers out of that post. I'm calling it. So, Gary, keep us up to date because that was really cool. Something random that he caught. And uh, that's one way you can use social media to crush this business. So, um, anyway, that was cool. Welcome, guys. Nice to see so many of you guys on here with us <laughs> this morning. What's up, Ben? It's happening. The Michigan Mafia is here. What's going on? Nice to have all you guys with us. It's super fun to see all of you guys joining us live. I know a lot of you are not able to get live, so if you're getting this on the replay, hit replay down in the comments down there. Let us know where you're from because there's so many people joining the team right now. It's really, really a good idea that you kind of, you know, network with one another. Um, I was looking for the right term there for a little bit, but it's perfectly fine for you guys to get into Messenger and direct message the DM on Instagram and just communicate. Let people know where you're from, share your story, because a lot of you guys have very similar stories. We all kind of did this for the same, same thing. So a little bit of housekeeping um, while I it's fresh on my mind. Why is that light like just... I don't it's know. Weird. I don't know. You guys can't see it, but anyway, there's lights so that the lighting is right um, for you guys. And I don't know. I'm a little ADD now. I guess that has nothing to do with this call, that light, but it's bothering me. So it's a distraction. But it's the 24th. I like looking at her face. She's like, "Would you just get with it?" You You can read my mind. <laughs> uh -huh. After all these years, I can read your mind. Um, it's the 24th. Which means tomorrow is the last auto ship slash slash subscription. See, I'm showing my network marketing age auto ship. Um, I guess the new the new term we should be using is subscription, and that's cool because there's a lot of other companies using subscriptions uh, to help their customers improve their experience. And so, anyway, tomorrow is the last day for subscriptions for the month, which means by tomorrow night or the, let's see, uh, by Wednesday at the latest, because some credit cards don't process the first try, the company will process a couple times to try to make sure 
you know, we're, we're getting people their product, uh, but there are always a lot of expired credit cards. And um, the last time we ran the report, it was thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars. I can't remember the number, but I want to say it was like twenty to thirty thousand dollars in subscriptions didn't run on the twenty fifth due to expired credit cards, and so that's us. That's the whole team. That's all of you watching this. Some of that was in your organizations, and that's no bueno. So keep an eye on that, um, and remember in the app in your Life Vantage app, we have the red light or the green light. That's really making this simple for us, and so. If your PV, your personal volume numbers are already green, fantastic. Fantastic for you. It means you're already up over last month's uh, previous personal volume numbers. That is incredible. For a lot of you, um, it does take that last auto ship or subscription before your light goes green. If it's not green by tomorrow night, it simply means you've got four to five days, depending on the month, to get it done and to crank up your activity, to go into all out VIP customer service mode, not sales mode. Don't go all out sales mode. Go all out VIP customer service mode for your customers. Make them feel special. Check in on them. Remember what we talked about? I think that was last week, the 222, right? Two days after people become your customer, contact them. Two weeks after they're on the product, contact them. Two months after they've been on the product, contact them. That should be ingrained, guys. Two, two, two for your customers. It will make a big, big, big improvement in your retention and your PV for sure. So uh, you got some announcements on packs. Well, yeah, we've got one week left, you guys, of getting the free starter kit with your enrollment pack. So take advantage of, of that. Use it as leverage um, to maybe prod some people along that aren't pulling the trigger or dragging their feet. Uh, it's a promotion the company has going and you want to take full advantage of it. So, Lynette, the company does uh, communicate with people who uh, auto ships, subscriptions don't run. Also in the app, you have notifications on each individual subscription in your app when a subscription doesn't run. And as a person taking forward action, I'm trying to use the right words, um, you should be in that app every day for sure on subscription days because the app will tell you who your direct enrollments are. Subscriptions have not run. And it's right there. Just push the button and it sends a nice message and you can customize that message to them. So yes, the company is sending emails, but they're also using the app. They're using technology if we're using the app. I hope you're using the app because the app, um, yeah, the app has a, a message, a suggested message that you can edit. Um, it's up to you what message gets sent out there. But um, as distributors, it's our job to keep in contact with the customers. It's not the companies. So the, think, of, think of these people as your customers, not the companies, okay? These are your customers. The company didn't get the customers, you got them. It's our responsibility to keep them. The company does their part by shipping the product. Everything else should be up to us. It is up to us. So um, anyway, let's jump into some material. Countdown to Elite too, you guys. You should be getting enrolled. I'm seeing people post pictures um, or, or posts that they're got, they've gotten their flights and their hotels booked. So hopefully you're staying on top of that as well. Uh, so let's jump into some material for today. We wanted to talk to you guys about um, the feeling that many people either have now or in some point in the future you will, or maybe it, you've already had it. So you've already, you've already thought this, you're thinking it now, or you're going to think this. You want to know what it is? I've, I don't have anyone to talk to. I've run out of people to talk to. <laughs> like I've talked to everybody. Everybody ever felt like that? If you have, drop me a, drop me a little uh, wa a hand waving emoji down in the comment if you've ever felt like that, right? Yeah. Uh, we've felt like that. In fact, my first list only had 20 people on it because that's all the people I knew. <laughs> 
So if you think you only know 20 people or your list only had 20 people on it, the good news is you can be a pro 10 because you know a whole lot more than 20 people. Um, there's a lot of psychology and why we think we don't know many people. And the 20 people on the list are the 20 people usually you think are gonna do this business that you're not scared to tell. That's that first list. And unfortunately, those 20 people do not give you the reaction you were hoping for, and you think this doesn't work, and you think the product doesn't work, and you think your friends are idiots, and you think uh, this is not for me, and you quit. That's what most people do. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, because that is foolishness. It's silly. So um, every day, what you should be doing is adding to your list. And all of us know several hundred people uh, on a first name basis. Our cell phones are fantastic uh, resources for us to make a list. And because uh, I challenge people, anytime someone tells me they've run out of people to talk to, you know what I do? I ask for them to open their contact manager, their contacts, and then I ask them to hand me their phone. And I just scroll and I stop. And I'm going like, let's call this person. And they're like, no, no. And I'm like, well, you haven't run out of people. You've got plenty of people. You're just scared, okay? And that boils down to belief, okay? That's not what this, this, this training today is not about belief. We've done that one already. This is about finding more people and getting over uh, that feeling of, I can't do this because I run out of people to talk to. So we kind of want to approach this today um, from an offline and an online approach of how do you find more people in this business. So uh, just speaking online, I think Lynette's going to address the offline because a lot of you build completely offline, you know, knee to knee, eyeball to eyeball. And we love that. We feel like that's really the only way to build real long-term lasting relationships is to get knee to knee with people at some point. Doesn't mean you have to meet them there, but at some point, if you want to keep them as business partners, you need to get knee to knee with them at some point. Um, but a lot of people are building completely 100% online. That's cool. And some are doing both. That's what we're doing. We're, we're doing both. Um, Lynette just got an enrollment uh, last week. Um, from someone online, right? Fantastic, fantastic lady that we've already done some initial calls with and has already been introduced to you guys. So online, I wanna give you guys some suggestions uh, of ways that you can find more people. Of course, we know groups, private groups are a fantastic way to find more people. And I'm just gonna suggest to you that these groups that you're in should not be groups on health and wellness or anti-aging or nutrigenomics because everybody is selling their stuff in those groups. You should be looking for groups to participate in in areas of your life that you have value to share. So. For me, what could that possibly be? Well, and not only value to share, but also areas of your life that you enjoy talking about and learning, okay? So I'll just give you some examples for me and, and the groups that I'm in right now. Um, and I'm not in them solely to get new contacts. That is one of the advantages of in being in the group, but it's also for me to, to, to learn and to enjoy being a part of the group. So anything on the water, so that's anything boat related, fishing related, in the water, out of the water, marine related, I'm in those groups. And it's a fantastic way. Uh, I think I added about 10 friends last week from just one group and it was one post. And the great thing is a lot of those new people that we've become friends with live within like a five mile radius of my home, which is fantastic because now I can get offline and I can go have lunch and coffee with those guys. Um, anything related to, um, well, uh, football, NFL football, specifically the New Orleans Saints. I'm in a few of those groups, right? That's always fun. Um, and so I know Lynette's got, you know, she's in some, some dog groups that is just, I can't even believe 
some of she'll put a post in a dog group and it just blows up like yeah I, and and you know what i'm thinking as you're saying all these things because my my brain is kind of a, a few steps ahead but like i'm thinking at the end of the day you guys all of us are trying to grow our business your business does not grow when you create a post your business does not grow when you join a group your business grows when you ask someone to look at your business that's the first step engaging in conversation and small talk and liking their post and them liking your post and you're doing absolutely nothing to grow your business which means you have to be very intentional about what you're doing if you are are starting a correspondence with somebody there's got to be a a, a motive in where you're going with it it ha like i i feel like and the reason that this is a topic is because at the end of the day our numbers grow when people are asking and our group is doing excellent this month but it, we also know that we could ask more and you I, need to explain what asking is because a lot of people are going asking what asking people to look at the business asking people to take the first step connecting them to a tool hey i you know there's something i'm wanting you to take a look at are you open to hearing about it or i know this is out of the blue i've really enjoyed getting to know you a little bit here but this may be something you're interested in and being genuine with people in those conversations and i know we're going to get to some more information more specific on that um but the point is if we're not asking people to look at a tool we're not we're not taking the first step needed in growing our business and i know we've had, we have to build rapport and all of these things but um at some point you have to ask so that's part of our foundation in this team is the three-step process of invite tool team i t t that is the foundation for making money as a distributor in any network marketing company um, is you got to ask people to look at the information right the invite and so um, the reason it's so important in my opinion to build online and off and I would suggest for most everyone you start offline because of this key fundamental the relationship is already in place people that you're meeting in line online Facebook instant uh, uh, Instagram these are strangers that you will have to build some rapport with there is some time that you will have to spend and we're going to talk specifically a strategy today that I think is phenomenal for these strangers okay but you got to build that the beauty in your what we would say is your hot list or your warm list these are the people that you already know before you became a distributor the beauty there is there is a relationship and where there's relationships there's trust you can immediately go to the invite there's no like building rapport because you've been doing that for years or weeks or months before you became a distributor the rapport is there they know you and if you've been a good human being they will listen to you if you've been not a good human being they may not listen to you but that's okay that's why we all you know when people join network marketing is specifically life advantage this is a process of growing and getting better all of us can grow all of us can make better decisions and so if your list is only 20 people here's one suggestion break it into three categories guys I'm gonna go a little old school with you guys it's called launch 60 okay three categories of 20 people 20 names 20 names of people who are business minded people who own their own business want to own a business entrepreneurial people that you just know are ready to not be an employee anymore okay 20 names there you know those 20 people 20 names of people who are into wellness health people that go to the gym people that are on diets people that are you know interested in health or maybe even have some health issues okay don't just make a sick list please that's like that's not a good list don't make a sick list okay that's not a good list to start with right you can go there but let's not start there 
right? And the third list is the people who know where the bathrooms are in your home. You, you should have 20 of those people unless you just moved to an area and you don't know anybody, okay? I'm speaking in generalities. There's always these outliers. Well, I don't know 20 people. Um, I don't know 20 people in my house. Okay, then we need to change that because this is a connection business, all right? It's a people business. So that's just a little bit of offline, but that is so powerful. You want an easy win. You want to get your money back quickly. You want to start making money quickly. It's with the people who already know you. Don't be scared. Here's something I shared this week with someone, guys. Before you became a distributor at Life Vantage, you did your homework. You did your research. You asked all the questions and you got to a point where you were like, this is a good idea. I'm excited about this. Here's my credit card. Okay. That doesn't change the moment you make a list. It shouldn't. It does emotionally because all of a sudden, once you become a distributor, you get an ID number, all of a sudden, it's as if someone forced you to do this because you don't want to tell anyone. <laughs> okay? You were not forced to do this. You were excited to do this because of the possibilities and you should be happy to share that with all the people who already know who you are. Okay? So let's transition to this other strategy if you, yeah, yeah. you want to add anything to no, that. Okay. Good. So it's really weird and awkward as you're adding these friends, because they're not really friends. How can someone be a friend that hasn't, you haven't done anything for them and they haven't done anything for you. That's not really a friend, but that's what they call them in the social that's media a world. friend. So we do need to make them, we need to go from friends to a friend. That's yep. what we need to do. Yep. And you do that by conversations. You do that by uh, probably if you're online in Messenger or direct message, right? One way or another, you're communicating with people and it, you added them as a friend probably, I know I am, with a strategy, okay? If we're online, I added you as a friend because I would like for you to join my business because I, not from a selfish standpoint, I think it's a good idea that all of you join a Life Vantage business. And I'm talking to Life Vantage people, but you get what I'm saying here, right? It's kind of, is that third party? I don't know what that is. but. It's awkward because they don't know why you've added them as a friend. And so you don't wanna seem like you just added them to sell them something. So that means you need to have some meaningful conversations back and forth. Let me say this, I, I find that my, um, the rate of people who accept friend, friend requests, I feel like is pretty high and it's because I never send a friend request without messaging them. And my message tells them the connection. So I'm like, thank you so much for uh, loving on my, my post on my dog or whatever it is. I let them know where the correlation is. And I've actually had people who have messaged me back and said, oh, I'm so sorry. I deleted your friend request before I saw your message. Send it again. If, if I wouldn't have messaged them, I just wouldn't have got the friend. So I've already established that we've got something in, in common. And then from there, you can start a conversation. So how long have you had your dog? Or, you know, you, you're able to start this correspondence. And then as you're starting to see the post that they're making, you're able to then pull other information that you can chat about next so that you've, you are building this rapport. Yeah, the beauty that I found a few years ago as I was transitioning to working in social media is offline, you really don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Like you think people are happy or you think things are a certain way, but we really don't know what's going on in people's lives. But they will tell you everything on social media. Like it's like they undress for you in their Facebook accounts and their Instagram accounts emotionally, okay? And so they'll tell you everything you know. If you want a friend in Facebook or Instagram, all you've gotta do is go in their account, look at their last 10 posts, and then send them a message that's personalized to the last 10 posts, or a post of the last 10 posts. And it's almost hands down, they're gonna accept the friend request, almost hands down. It's so easy to see what's important to people because they will tell you what's important to them, okay? And that can't be done offline because you don't know what's going on in their head. But here's the strategy that I am using, I love. At some point, you gotta pull the trigger. At some point, 
this communication is going on and you've got to say, hey, you know, would you take a look at something? And so it's a tracker that we came across that basically is giving you like the push to, to pull the trigger at 10 conversations. So somewhere before, you don't, you don't have to wait till 10, okay? If, if the timing is right, if, the, if, if it just kind of falls into your lap, it's time to ask, right? But by 10 meaningful exchanges of communication, okay? Maybe like basically anywhere probably from three to 10 days, this should take. Because you may communicate three or four times in a day, which would be high for a new friend, but maybe once a day or maybe once every other day. And the way to do that is by asking questions, okay? If you want a response, you should be asking questions. That's a good way for them to engage back. But here's the thing, I, we've, we've got our hands on a tracker that actually tracks the exposure. See the circles? See the circles? And so you can put dates in those circles of when you communicated with them. And uh, you guys, here's what, I'm, here's what I have like reminded to me regularly. If you're not tracking what you're doing, you're leaving it to chance. If you don't have some way of referencing if you're inviting people, who you're talking to, when to talk to them next, how many times you've talked, if you don't have some way of tracking your actions, you're leaving it to chance. Your memory is not going to take care of it for you. So if you've got a way of putting their name down, and I've talked to them on this day, this day, this day, then you at some point can go, okay, I'm obviously dragging my feet with this person. We've engaged in 10 exchanges and I still haven't asked them. Today's the day. Mm -hmm. And and maybe, you know, in my mind, 10's a little much. I don't think it needs to go that far. I'm thinking three to five's good. So wherever your comfort level is, but know that if you don't, if you're not keeping some sort of a log, I can't tell you how many times I've gone into Messenger and I'm looking for a, what was that, who was that? And I, and I start going and I'm like, oh gosh, I forgot about that. Oh, God, another, that can't happen. So I'm becoming intentional about really trying to take note of things. Otherwise, all of these seeds that I'm planting are there for someone else to come along and glean off of because I'm just throwing them out there and not following up. And you guys know that it's all about the follow up. So even you have to treat your business, whether it's social media or it's in person, you have to treat it like a business. And if you're not keeping track of things, then you're, not, you're really not treating it like a business. And, and you want to engage with people in a way that they're comfortable. I mean, don't, I, I've had people that I've accepted their friend request and their very first message to me was a spiel to look at a business. Or just the link. <laughs> or just the link. Guess what sure. I do? Guess what I do? Delete. <laughs> Delete, friend. Yeah. Don't, don't treat me like that. So treat people the way that you'd want to be treated in, in all of this and keep record somehow, some way, so that you can benefit from your actions. Otherwise, you're spinning your wheels. So we've said a few times today, you have to do this, you have to do this. And I'm, I know what Lynette's, because her and I think exactly the same when it comes to this business. We want all of you to have massive success at Life Vantage. And we know what it takes to have massive success at Life Vantage. And so when we're saying you have to, you have to, <laughs> you have to, it's because that's what you have Sorry. to do if you want to make some significant money. Now, all of you have a different definition for what significant money is. But if you want to have a paycheck of over $1,000 a month, if you want to earn over $1,000 a month with Life Advantage, you have to track. You're just going to have to. Because if you don't, whatever you do duplicates. And a whole team of people who don't track something is not going to be a team. You're just, you're just not. And so uh, for those that have just, have just joined us or kind of just kind of getting your feet wet, you don't have to track anything. What you have to do is take the products and share your success stories and other people's success stories with as many people as you want. You don't have to do anything. Okay. But the moment you get bit by the bug, 
The moment you fall in love with this product, the moment you fall in love with Life Vantage, the moment you fall in love with network marketing, now it's time to start treating this like a business so that you can grow the business. And so here's an example script that I'm gonna share with you if you're working in social media that I think is phenomenal. I think it's a great, a great way to take a stranger that you've been communicating on. And uh, so it's basically the person's name, okay? So let's just say Lynette, comma. I have really enjoyed getting to know you over the past couple of weeks. I don't know if this could be for you or not, but I have a unique opportunity to make extra income. Would you be open to checking it out? Question mark. If not, comma, I completely understand. No pressure. I just thought I would share it with my new friend. I love the opening and the closing. The opening sentence, I have really enjoyed getting to know you over the past couple of weeks. That means you didn't wait a year. <laughs> okay, but I love that. I've, I've enjoyed getting to know you. That's how it opens. Then kind of the invites in the middle and the close is simply, I just thought I would share it with my new friend. That is money. Now don't use that word for word. Don't use it word for word. You can if you want, but I wouldn't. Okay, make it as personal as you can. But I wouldn't get too much more wordier than that because they, they, if it seems scripted, they're, not, they're, gonna, they're just not. Okay, make it authentic. But that is money, guys. That will just, that's the ask. And if you're not asking, you're never gonna make money. If you don't ask people, if you don't get to the invite, you're never getting to the tool, you're never getting to the team, and you're never gaining a customer or a distributor. You have to ask, and you have to ask every day, and I would say a minimum of two a day. Lynette and I, I mean, how many times we've said this, when we started, we asked three to five people a day a piece, okay? That was six to 10 asks a day. That's how we launched our business. That's how we replaced our income in two years. That's how we got to Pro 10 in less than five, like four and a half years, okay? That's how we did it. And we did it with a, pro a company that had two products. Nothing like we've got now, guys. What you guys have right now is absolutely amazing with an amazing company, amazing staff. It's getting better all the time. We've got amazing support around us with more opportunity today than ever, than ever. So, um, and Lynette, just go back and watch this again. Um, and that's the great thing for people that are missing this or just getting it now. Don't just watch the little piece you get. Go back and watch this from the beginning because there's little things that we drop in here that you need to know and share with your team. So please, if your teams are not on these lives, I, Lynette and I and the other leaders of this team spend many countless hours prepping every week to help you grow your business. And so let us help you by making sure your teams are getting into these uh, Facebook videos and trainings we're doing as well as what we have at teamtrueblue.org. We get asked questions every week and the answers are at teamtrueblue.org. Um, so make sure you're there, make sure you're in the YouTube channel. Um, and I hope you guys can use this information to get some ask in, some invites in as we close this month out so that you can have green lights. I want to see your green lights at Team True Blue. Screenshot them. I want to see the green lights. Post it. Blow that page up with green lights from the app because right now, guess what? We're green again. We are green <laughs> again for the fourth month in a row and Team True Blue is green right now in a big way. We're up 5% over last month, guys. Over in one month, 5% growth. Massive, massive shout out to all of you. So I know a lot of you are asking because no team is growing unless a lot of people are asking, following up, doing the do. You guys are awesome. It's been, uh, and, and guys, this is June. We are completely destroying the mindset that you can't do this business in the summertime. We, it's June. Kids are out of school, distractions, and our team is up and growing. It's a big old fat green sign with five, five figures up. We're five figures up over last month. So uh, really, really exciting stuff that you guys are doing. We're happy to be doing this with you. We hope this information was 
Uh, good for you. And Take there was Take advantage something. of the webinar tonight, you guys. Fred Graves something is doing the webinar. Yes. Um, and it's another opportunity for you to invite, for you to ask someone to learn more. There was something I was going to add. I'm going to have to put it in the comments because I know it's not coming to me right now, but it will come to me and I'll put it in the comments and uh, you guys just have to look for it. So I hope this helped today. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great close to the month and uh, we're going to be seeing you soon next Monday. Bye-bye. See you guys.